Now, President Museveni has vowed to retaliate against the Al Shabaab militants after the attack on the UPDF soldiers in Somalia. What we keep telling you the issue of abandoning the line of the NRA, the National Resistance Army. I have Horrible Semu Junganda, Chiram Municipality Member of Parliament, in this story. If the Americans have run away from Afghanistan, what are we still doing in Somalia? Uh, we shall also be listening to Honorable Joel Senyonyi speaking about the Al Shabaab attack on the UPDF in Somalia. What's the entry plan? What's the exit plan? Because you see, you cannot have an unending war. I have an update from uh, the deputy spokesperson of uh, NUP, that is uh, Waiswa Mufumbiro. Stand by for the details. Well, we have clocked 2,000 followers on TikTok. My name is uh, Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. And uh, right here on The Buzz, UG, kindly subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, reports on social media this morning have indicated that uh, the deputy spokesperson of uh, NUP, that is uh, Waiswa Mufumbiro, last night survived an attack at his home. It is said that people dressed with hoodies, armed with guns, knocked on his gate, and uh, when the family members opened, they demanded to know Weiss's whereabouts. However, this information is yet to be verified by the NUP camp, and uh, I'll be keeping you posted. It should be remembered that uh, a few weeks ago, Fred Lumbuye warned that Mufumbiro should take cover, otherwise he's likely to end like Georgia Ichuli. <laughs> Now, Horrible Semu Junganda, Chira Municipality Member of Parliament, has said President Museveni must account for all the lives that we have lost in Somalia as a country. And on top of that, Museveni must issue an apology to the families of the deceased and also they must be compensated. Horrible Semuju said it's high time Uganda exits Somalia and leave them to solve their own problems. Kenya, Ethiopia and others who share a border with Somalia if they have immediate security problems, sort out their problems. If the Americans have run away from Afghanistan, what are we still doing in Somalia? So Mr. Museveni should account for all the UPDF soldiers who have been killed there. And they need to compensate their families adequately on top of an apology. What's the entry plan? What's the exit plan? Because you see, you cannot have an unending war. These are parents, these are children of people, and that kind of thing. You've deployed them therein indefinitely. How? We, we must be able to plan better. Many times they go for months without their facilitation being given to them. Have we had the commander in chief speak out on this issue? Because probably they're also demotivated, and all these things are important. But for you, now that they have been hit, you come out very insensitively. Well, there you go. Those are the two members of parliament, Horrible Semu Junganda and Horrible Joel Senyonyi, speaking about the Al Shabaab attack on the UPDF right there in Somalia. Now, Museveni has vowed to retaliate against the Al Shabaab militants in Somalia after the attack on the UPDF that left 137 dead. Now, while addressing the NRM members of parliament in Changwanzi over the weekend, Museveni said he's not going to allow the Al Shabaab militants to get out of this scot free. What we keep telling you, the issue of abandoning the line of the NRA, the National Resistance Army, is the one which causes all these unnecessary delays and, in some cases, setbacks. It seems one of the suspects factors in that uh, incident could be again corruption by some of these new players in the army who no longer who, who, who don't have the NRA spirit of patriotism and they start looking at because in Somalia the UN gives uh, allowances big allowances somebody told me that uh, Somebody may get about 38 million shillings in a year when they are deployed there. Now, some of these people, they don't look at the mission, they look at the money. So, but the, the investigation will go on and, and see, but one suspect, one suspect thing is that these who, because of the money, it seems some of our people are selecting people to go to Somalia. They, 
they, they don't do what we were doing at the beginning, apparently. I was not following. But it seems at some stage, some of the people who organize, they put their, these bodyguards, bodyguards, secretary, I don't know what, what, what you call them, these who are around here, personal assistant, I don't know what. They put their names there, create sort of ad hoc, ad hoc, instead of having the integral, integral units, they create ad hoc groups made of bodyguards, made of what?